This guide is going to show you how you can download homebrew apps and games directly on your Nintendo Switch. Now of course your Switch already needs to be modded so if you haven't already done that check out my Nintendo Switch modding playlist on my channel and you can get started there. But for those of you who are ready and do not have the homebrew app store already on your Switch let's get it added without even taking your SD card out of your Switch. So to begin load into your Hakate menu here if you forget how to do that just go to the homebrew video and redo that using the RCM jig and your PC. But once you're here we're just going to go over to tools click on USB tools let me just bring it a little closer click on SD card and when it says waiting for connection I'm going to use this cable here which is plugged into my PC plug it in there we go and it sh you should see starting UMS and over on your PC let me just set the switch down if you go into your folders you should see your SD card on your PC and obviously the SD card is still inside of your switch but this allows you to edit content and add stuff to it without even taking it out but once you have your switch SD card on your PC ready to go open up the link below that says homebrew app store and it should take you to this github page where we are going to download the app but once you're at this github page just scroll all the way down until you see the assets now we are going to grab the app store.nro so just click on it and it should download in the bottom left and once it's downloaded open up the sd card from your switch here's what mine looks like and we're going to go inside the switch folder so once you're here, we're going to right click and create a new folder, call it app store. And we're going to drag the .nro file that we downloaded inside. Oops, it disappeared. So drop it in the app store folder and it should be inside just like so. Now, once we're done with that, do not unplug the cord. We need to hit the eject button for the SD card to reload on the switch. Just click the eject button here. And over on the switch, you should be able to see disk ejected. So click close and we are able to unplug our cord. Press B to go back, go to your home and let's launch into our CFW. So atmosphere sys. And I'm loaded in, but I'm just gonna switch over to my TV because there's no glares on that one. So one second. All right, now let's load in. If you like my custom theme, make sure to check out my Switch modding playlist so you can get your own. And if you forget how to get into the homebrew menu, just hold the right trigger and press A on a game or YouTube app and it should bring you here. And now after adding that to our SD card, you should see homebrew app store. If you don't, you need to go back and redo the steps on the computer. If you have it looking like this, just click A on it to load it up. And once it loads up, you'll see all of these apps. Now currently the version is 2.3.2 for Switch. If you're watching this in the future, it may be newer, but if you get it from the GitHub page, you will get the updated version. But as you can see, you can go through all apps. You can get homebrew games. Now there's tons of homebrew games. Don't worry, this is free and not piracy if you download these homebrew games. These are fan created. You can grab emulators like the MGBA emulator, RetroArch, NES, all sorts of stuff. But of course, I'm gonna show you how to download the actual apps. So let's try to download a homebrew game. There's seriously so many. Let's try two planes. So just click A on whatever app or game you wanna get. And it's very simple. All you do is press A to download and it'll download it directly to your SD card. You don't even have to take your Switch out or plug it into your computer. You can download it directly on the Switch. And if you go all the way up, you should see that it has a check mark in the bottom left of the app saying it's installed. Also, the updating is the same. So if there's an app you already have, just click A on it and you'll be able to re-download it essentially to update it. Now the Homebrew App Store is amazing for downloading tools. You can get mod managers, you can get apps to dump your games like NX Dump Tool, which we will be using in a later video. And if you're not sure what the app is, no matter what it is, you can just click A on it and it'll give you a description below the, the picture. Let's try downloading another one. How about Pong NX? So click on it, press A to download. That is installed. So if you want to uninstall a game or app, just click on it and press X to remove. And then it'll 
undownload it or uninstall it <laughs> but anyways let's go try it out so let's try playing pong press minus to quit it'll take you back to the homebrew menu and we should see we now have pong so click a on it and load it up up and down oh man you see this is really hard to play by myself <laughs> i need <laughs> i need friends to play this against but there we go we now have a homebrew game downloaded directly on our switch for free and i did forget to mention you also have the option to actually search an app as well so for example if we type in nx D, we can see NX Dump Tools right there. So click Y to close the keyboard and you can download it directly from your Switch. But anyways, that is pretty much it for the video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you have any questions or ran into any issues, just comment down below and I'll try my best to get back to you. There's a link below if you want to join my Discord server. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a like. It really helps the channel. And don't forget to subscribe as I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers before the end of summer. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have fun downloading homebrew apps and games directly on your Switch. Take care.